What is going on YouTube? I am Valentino from Next Gen Speed, and today I'm be going over a couple new leak things about the new GT500, along with some things that we already know so far. So let's get into it. Now just a couple days ago, some documents have been released about some oil change options and like requirements and stuff like that. And as you can see, it was dated at 2020. So this means it'd be for 2020 vehicles. At the bottom of the page, you can see a GT350 5.2 and right below that, you can see a 5.2 supercharged GT500. And with these leaks, another leaked image has been released that shows a supercharger with a 5.2 stamp on it with a Cobra at the bottom, which goes right along with the other leaked image that has been released. So we can expect something crazy and beefed up from before. And hopefully they'll fix the torque problems and have this car really beefed up and ready to go straight off the line. Now with the specs on this car, they have not been released yet. But with the GT350 having about 526 horsepower, we can expect around like 700 to 800 horsepower in that type of range. But it looks like this will compete with the Hellcat and stay around the 800 horsepower range. In the last leak this week about the GT500 is a new brake setup that it has. On the front, you can see somebody leaked a picture of the hand compared to the caliper. It looks big and massive compared to even the regular GT350 setup. So we can expect that like a six piston setup, but this car will definitely have the stopping power that it does need. And the transmission specs have not been released on this car yet also. But on this car, we can expect the new 10 speed that just came out by Ford and GM. But this car also might come with a new Ford GT transmission that is a seven speed dual clutch transmission, which would be pretty badass. And a clip was recently released of the GT500 at a stoplight just taken off and at idle. And honestly, it sounds f***ing amazing to me. It sounds like it packs a punch, has amazing power, and just has that Mustang tone that everybody dies for. The Mustangs have always lacked a little bit sound from the factory, but from the new 18 model, we saw the new active exhaust put in place. And with that, it made the Mustang really more badass and more of a beast and kind of opened it up a little bit. And as you can hear from this one, this car will definitely pack a punch and does have that Mustang growl, even that idle, that people just tell it's a Mustang from a mile away. And as far as we know now from the leaked images online, we know the back end will kind of be similar to the GT, but kind of be like more badass and more aggressive. And kind of stand out a little bit more with the quad exhaust setup and a different diffuser and stuff like that. And in two different images, there are two different spoilers that have been pictured. One that is high and one that's kind of a low little bit. But we don't know what to expect now, so we'll see that coming up. So stay tuned for that. And it looks like on this car, it'll be coming with a 20 inch carbon fiber rims. It's got some big meaty tires on the back, so it looks like it's got them 315s, hopefully. But we know it's gonna be something big like that. If that's all I got for you guys today, that's all we know about the car so far. But stay tuned for more. I got a lot more news for you guys coming about the GT500 and a lot more other cars. And let me know what you guys think about the car, about this new setup it has and what we'll be coming with. And let me know what kind of power you think this car will be making, okay? Check out the channel for some more car videos, some other car videos, and everything about cars. If that's all I got for you guys today, please like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.